Hey friend, John here, and today I wanna to share with you how I play your blues as recorded by the Beatles on guitar. Now this song is a great example of how the Beatles took the blues and incorporated it into their music. And a lot of times I have students that say, you know, John, I, I don't really like the blues, but I love the Beatles and I love, you know, Led Zeppelin and, and the Rolling Stones. But the thing is, is all of these bands actually had the blues in their music. And so when you first learn something like the 12 bar blues and so many of these things that I talk about on my channel, learning all these other songs becomes so much easier. So this is a great example of that. Let's get straight into it here. There's a couple chords we're gonna learn first and the first one I'll show you is an E7. This is a blues in the key of E. And this is going to be all six strings here. Open, two, two, one, three, open. It looks like a typical E chord. You just add your pinky on on the third fret of the second string. Okay. Then we're going to have an A7. This is another great blues chord. I play here the open fifth string and then second fret, second fret, second fret, then third fret. It's an A chord with one finger, and you add that G note on top. Here already it has kind of a bluesy sound to it. And then, so we've got our E7, our A7, then we'll also need, this is a G, it looks like a G chord like this, but what I do is I take this finger off. And I get what's called a G5. So just mute that fifth string. It's great for rock. And then the last chord is B7, which is two, one, two, open, two. All right, so those are the first four chords. Now, what I'm gonna do in this version is share with you a way of playing this on one guitar. The thing is, is on the recording, there's two parts and you've got the bass and sort of the way the whole song is arranged, which is brilliant. It works in a band situation. So you've got like one guitar going and then you've got another guitar going, you know, doing these little bends, and then you've got the bass, kind of playing a low E bass groove. And so what I want you to do is to play this on one guitar. First, we're gonna start by just playing a groove in a six, eight time signature. So that's gonna go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna add some more licks on top of this, but we've gotta start again with that bass of getting the 12 bar blues together and the timing. So we're in a six, eight time signature, so that means we're gonna be counting six beats per bar. So I went like this, one, two, three, and then on beat four, I kinda hit a staccato strum. So one, two, three, so I hit it and then rest, and then I go five, six, just on muted strums, or muted strings. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's gonna go for four bars. And then we're gonna go to the A chord. A7. Do the same thing, then back to E. Okay, so that is this shape here. Two times, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, back to E. Okay, then, now here's where the Beatles mix it up, okay? Usually in a 12 bar blues, we have the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord, and here we would go to that five chord, but what the Beatles do is they go to G. And then B7. Okay, so that G lasts for one bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you hit the B7. And here's another change, okay? So as I mentioned, we are starting out there in that six, eight time signature. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then when we get to the B7, we actually hit that chord and then we have an 
eight, eight measure. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. So it's like our six, eight, but we add two extra beats. It's a tricky count there, but basically you stop and then you hear John Lennon sing the, fra uh, the phrase there, you know the reason why, and then you come back in on the E7. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, Six, one, two, one, two, three, five, six. Then we have this little lick which turns us back around. That's the second fret of the fourth string. And then the open fourth string, second fret of the fifth string twice. So or you could put the B7 chord on at the end like this. All right, so you can see that it's like a 12 bar blues, but there's that little change. Now, before we go any further, if you wanna to learn to jam the blues like this anywhere on the neck, I wanna give you a gift. I put together this awesome PDF guide that's gonna show you the quickest and fastest way to learn the blues scale anywhere on the neck. It's gonna show you the five patterns that I use, and this is gonna be so useful for playing songs like this, but also for jamming with friends or playing along with backing tracks. You can get it completely for free right now. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash bluescales and grab that as my gift to you. All right, so once you get the rhythm together and you get the chord progression, next you wanna try and put it all together. So let's give that a try. We're gonna put all 12 bars together. Get set and I'll count you in. A one, two, three, four, five, six. Wanna die Yes, I'm lonely Wanna die To G Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, five, six all right, so that is the main rhythm. Next, let's talk about playing some of those cool licks on top. Now, as I mentioned, there's two guitars and the riffs kind of run on top of each other. So it's impossible to play both parts at the same time. But let's take a look at how you can combine them. What I did was sort of just run one into the next. So the first lick comes off the E7 and it goes like this. A one, two. And it's just these two notes here. It's a double stop on the fourth fret of the third string and also on the third fret there of the second string. And it's just down, up, down, up with the strum hand. It comes in on beat three. So like one, two, three. There's a triplet rhythm, ba, 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 to the last beat. So one, two. Okay, then there's another lick that goes and it does this cool bluesy bend on the fourth string. Five, bend it, and then release, and then come back to the second fret on the same string. So. And then there's another variation that goes kind of a double bend there. So you'll hear these different riffs throughout, but what I would do is you can go one, two, kind of just run one lick into the next. So if I was playing this on one guitar, I'd go one, two, and then go back to the E7, okay? And sometimes that lick will go, and sometimes it'll go, sort of resolve up to the A there. And that works nicely over the A7. Then wanna die. So it would go like this, the first eight bars. Yes, I'm lonely. Wanna die. Yes, I'm lonely. Hey, and then back to E. Okay, now here, instead of going, playing a G like that, you can go. And then. strumming it there. So what I did here was I played, this is a very common thing that the Beatles would do. This little bass line here. 
So instead of playing a G, you just play the third fret of the low E, slide into seven, five on the fifth string, then bend seven on the fourth string, release. So. And then there's a double stop here, sliding into eight on the third string, seven on the first string, and then slide the whole thing down two frets. And then you hear one guitar like, you could keep it just two notes. So that's four and four, and then three and three, two on those same strings. Or you could go and make it a triple stop. So there you just bar with one finger. So. And then we're back to E7. Same as the main rhythm part that we learned. So let me give you an example. We'll play through it one time and I'll mix in some of these licks so you can hear what it sounds like. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. Yes, I'm lonely. Wanna die. Yes, I'm lonely. Back to E. And then you're back to the top. So put those different parts together. I recommend just starting with kind of the straight rhythm, get the six, eight groove going. And then from there, you could sort of add like the icing on the cake with those cool fills and licks on top. And to help you put this together and jam the blues anywhere on the neck, don't forget to grab my free PDF guide. It's gonna show you the quickest and fastest ways to start playing the blues up and down the neck. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash blues scales, and you can grab that right now as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more blues guitar, check out this video next.